Afternoon, Detective. Just that for a stroll? I was not following you. <clears throat> well, there's no reason to follow me. If I'd known it was this easy going straight, I would have done it ages ago. Right, because I'm sure you love dressing up in a uniform and saying yes ma'am, no ma'am to Miss Alexandra Spaulding. Yeah, it's all right. She's an interesting lady. With interesting hardware in her jewelry box. I've left all that behind. Come on, Foley, it's me, okay? Me, the girl who almost got killed twice because you couldn't walk away from a score? Do you want me to go back to a life of crime? What do you think? I wonder. I mean, if I'm clean, where does that leave us? Us? Yeah. What were we? Cops and robbers. You good, me bad. It was dangerous and forbidden and exciting. But now what are we? Really, just two people cashing our paychecks, putting in vacations. Opposites combusted, but now the sparks fizzled, detective. It's dead and gone. Either your father's watching us, or the chief is. I'm not sure which. Frank! Good to see you. Frank? I don't think so. Sorry, sir. Everything okay, Marina? Oh, everything's fine. We just, we ran into each other. Yeah, I was just telling your daughter how much I'm enjoying my new job, driving for Alexandra Spaulding. An honest day's pay for an honest day's work. Nothing like it. It's a perfect job for you. Great opportunity to case the Spalding House. You're a cynical lot. No. Oh, Judy calls. Detective. It's a shame we won't be crossing paths anymore. Be good. What was that about? Who knows? Just forget about it. Forget it? How could I possibly forget it? That guy kidnapped you and you almost got killed. Now, Marina, it worries me that you're hanging around this guy. I'm not hanging out with him. I just ran into him. Okay. I heard what you said at Foley's trial. Oh, my God, Dad. The, the lawyer, so he, he screwed everything around. He, he mixed up my words. Did he? Yes. Okay, yes, yes, I, I had a, a moment of craziness or something. I don't know, but it's over, and it will never happen again. I could never be with a guy like that. Never. What is this about? Uh, it's about, uh, one second. Oh, here it is. Yep, yep, here. It's about this. Just, who is Justin Baines? Who is Justin Baines? He's a great guy. His dad is a deputy fire commissioner, okay? Anyway, he's a couple years older than you are. He uh, went to Northwestern University on a full scholarship, graduated with honors. He's a stockbroker now, and he's a volunteer fireman. Really? Yeah, and he's a stand-up guy. More importantly, he's somebody who knows how to treat you right. You're trying to set me up. His dad already told him that you'll be calling him, so he expects your call. So let me know how it goes. This coffee is cold. Oh, no, bad boy. It's time to play. Let's make a deal. Oh, no, no, I don't think so. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I think so. I just need you to do one very simple little tiny thing for me. It'll only take a minute. What's this? Health insurance? Mm. You are now officially enrolled in Spalding's 401k plan. Wow, I've never had retirement benefits, but then I've never had a real job to retire from, so... <laughs> <laughs> you said you wanted to put down roots. This is the stuff roots are made of. And this, and, well, something to feed the soul. Of course, that's very individual. It's very private. Oh, you mean money isn't everything? <laughs> Thank you. My wallet. Where is 
lose it. it it's gone. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. What's the... Springfield PD, you're under arrest. For what? For this. I just found it. Yeah. Face the wall. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. Steal the bloody water. We're just lying there on the ground. Hey, Jimmy, you want to tell me what's going on? Yeah, this guy picked that lady's purse. I did not pick her purse. I found it. Pipe down. I found it. Okay. Okay, you stay here. I mean it. Don't even think about moving or I will never believe another word you would say again. You want to tell me what happened? And don't leave anything out. He picked her purse. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay, I know this guy, and that's not his M.O. What are you doing out here for? I'm off duty. And you just happened to stumble across crime in progress. You know what's going on. Oh, I do. The chief put the word out on this guy. Right, right, the word. Yeah, he told me to shadow this dude, see if I could catch him doing anything so we could nail him. See if you could catch him or make sure you caught him. Does it matter if he's off the streets? Cyrus thought somebody was following him. Well, maybe this guy keeps the wallet. This way he learns his lesson. Give me the keys, officer. Unless you want to explain to the disciplinary board why you disobeyed a superior's orders. And their innocent victim over there? Her wallet. Thanks. Beat it. your hands out. Sorry for the misunderstanding, sir. Misunderstanding, right. Where's your dog tag? Uh, what's the number stand for again? Your mom's birthday? Swiss bank account. Oh, right. Health insurance. Yeah, better see of my new boss. But you, you're a real boy now. How about that? It's a whole new world. Why'd you do that, detective? Help me like that. You know why. I go by the book. That lady ship, I gotta go. Well, maybe I'll see you around after all, detective. Cooper, uh, Frank Cooper's daughter. I think you were expecting my call. 